morning team. So today we're heading into Strawn. We're doing the um, the Gordon River cruise, which is like it's like a historic and scenic kind of cruise up the river. Six hours. It's pretty expensive, 130 bucks or so, but you get lunch included, and it's meant to be fantastic. So on the Gordon River cruise, you're on a huge catamaran, which is really stable and comfortable. As you can see, I had a beautiful day and we even had some wildlife. There was a dolphin. Um, we also saw a seal, but I didn't get much footage of either of them because they were rather fleeting. It goes along the Macquarie Harbour, which is six times larger than Sydney Harbour. However, all that water moves in and out of this tiny heads here. It's only 80 metres in, like, from point to point. And it's called Hell's Gate because, as you can imagine, a lot of water moves through there. You can see the currents and it causes a lot of shipwrecks and that. So on the cruise, it's pretty well known for their reflective water um, because of the tannins, they said, that are in the water. And we had really nice reflections the whole way down. Uh, the video just doesn't really do it justice. The cruise pulls over in a couple of spots where you get some nice rainforest walks. They talk you through the trees and whatnot, and they also give you a bit of a convict talk of the area. Alrighty, just um, found a spot near Montezuma Falls. Today I did the, the Strawn Gordon River cruise. It was really good, actually. Expensive, but definitely worth it. Yeah, and you get a free lunch, which I mean... I reckon I definitely got my money's worth with the lunch. <laughs> I'm so full. I don't actually feel like dinner, but I should eat. I don't know what I'm going to make for dinner. Tomorrow, we're going to do Montezuma Falls. It's about a, I think it's an 8K hike. Um, so not too bad. Finally decided what I wanted for dinner. We've gone with scones. <laughs> Baked in the uh, camp oven. They look pretty good. Um, little life hack for you. If you don't have anything to whip cream in, you don't have whipped cream, you can use a protein um, shaker, if you've got one on hand. You just put it in, shake it for a couple of minutes, a minute, you'll feel, you'll feel it'll go from fluid to solid, like the whole thing will feel heavy versus the bottom. Whipped cream. Yum. Scones time. Good morning, guys. Bit of a, a misty old morning here. Misty and cold. Just about ready for some warmer weather, I think. Oh, I haven't told you guys. Um, next contract is in Darwin, starting mid-June. So I've got well, six weeks, basically, to get up there. Um, so I'm going to meet up with a couple of mates from high school that I haven't seen in ages. I haven't seen them in five or six years or something. Um, che and Haz. It's going to be slightly confusing. There's going to be two hazards on the trip now. And we're going to cut a route up through Mildura, then Broken Hill into Flinders Ranges, up the Udna Data Track, near the Simpson Desert, all the route, and then up. Um, as a general outline, I'll get up a map at some point and show you a bit more in detail. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, so back, back to today. <laughs> Sorry, I get a bit distracted. Yeah, going to do the Montezuma Falls walk. So it's 4K one way. I'm not, I'm undecided if I'm going to walk or run it. Decided I'm going to run it. It's just, I've, I've done this for a couple of them. This will be the first time I bring the GoPro. It's just because it's a bit, um, I, don't know, I find it a bit boring doing the, the longer walks by myself. Normally I'd talk with someone the whole time, but people think you're crazy if you talk by yourself. So we'll run it. Um, I'll bring the GoPro. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, just gonna drive down to the start of it now. Over under, over under, over under, under. under. <laughs>
she is. Montezuma Fall. All finished. Really nice walk, recommend it. If you're in the area, um, actually I'd recommend going out of the way to, to go to it because there's a nice campground up there too. Well, not really a campground, but if you just take the road to Montezuma from Rosebury, um, just before you get to the car park for Montezuma, there's a little left turn up a hill. Um, you see a sign that says mining site, do not enter. You're in the right spot. <sighs> well, welcome to camp for the night. Beautiful spot. Just above Lake Gardner. Um, I think Gardner, it's got an eye in there. Gaidner. Uh, I just had a bit of a fly fish to no luck. So I went for a swim. I'll keep an eye on the water. If I see many rises, then I'll probably quickly run down with a rod. But other than that, pretty chilled afternoon. Tomorrow, I'll get up nice and early tomorrow and we'll head into Cradle Mountain. Don't know which hike I'm gonna do yet, but we'll see what happens. Well, the summit's uh, a bit hidden away at the moment. <laughs> the plan is to get up there. Problem is, I don't have that long to get there and back before the last shuttle bus. I was a bit slow this morning. So we're gonna have to boogie along a little bit. Let's see if the clouds burn off. But still won't be a fool There's something in the air Don't tell me something I already know No surprise, still got a face on your phone Don't need no baggage cause I got my own So don't try What a view! <laughs> this is from Marion Peak <laughs> This is the best weather gap all week. And this is what we get. Oh, might blow over. No, no. If it stays like this, I'm not going to try it for the peak. Because there's not an actual track. Um, and, oh man, it's just, it's just asking for trouble, really. The summit up there. Can't quite see it. It's kind of been shrouded the whole time. I've decided I'm not gonna go for it. Talk to some people on the way back down the track. They said it's pretty wet, it's pretty windy, and you can't see it from the top. So I was like, well, okie dokie. So we've changed route a little bit. We're now scooting across this way. basically back at the bus now so I thought I'd show you the circuit so follow the dove track along here do, 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 do. And then about there um, I cut up a track called Marion's Lookout track which takes you to Marion's Lookout which is somewhere there in the cloud and then kind of passed over the back traveled along the back there up in the clouds the summit is somewhere there-ish but I passed about that cloud line along the face track down here up to this hill which was Hanson's Peak and then down the side of that and then 
That's the way. <laughs> Alrighty, so gonna show you guys where we went last week in the past two videos. So we started at Bernie, then we came up along here, went up to Stanley to see the nut, which is just a big kind of lookout spot. Um, got some interesting signs and whatnot. Came along here. This is Marawa, where we went for a surf. Stayed one night there. There's a little free camp next to the beach. We then came down here in Arthur River. There's a really good information center where they'll tell you a lot of info about the roads um, down here, because there's a lot of four-wheel drive tracks, but some of them are really hard and it depends when they've kind of done a bit of work on them. So we came along here down this road which is all gravel kind of corrugations that was where i got a lot of the drone shots and stuff it was a beautiful road explorer way i think it's called down to corinna where you cross the river and then came down here did some of the four drive tracks through here they were really nice nice camping and then through zian down to struan for the gordon river cruise out there and back and then I think I went back up this road. In here is Montezuma Falls. There, so there is a four-wheel drive track that goes off the road, but I was running pretty late, like it was already dark, and I didn't really want to bugger around with a four-wheel drive track. Um, so I just went in here, camped one night there, and then did the falls run. Came through. Along this way, across the front of kind of Cradle Mountain. This is where the drive into Cradle Mountain is. Um, I camped down, so I stayed there, Lake Gardner, and then came up. This is where you park your car, a little shuttle bus takes you a bit further in, and then you do all your walks and whatnot in that area. And then came back down and drove, don't know which way, all the way to Devonport and stayed two nights in Devonport with Izzy's family. And then took this little thingy, Spirit of Tasmania. Whee! All the way to Melbourne. Whew. Morning team. So we're on our last morning in Tassie. Just on my way to the uh, ferry now. Uh, past Two nights I've been staying with Izzy, Horny Boys, parents, Wendy and Tim. Thank you so much to them. It's, it was really nice to stay with them. So we're now about to hop on the ferry. Um, in Melbourne, so today's Saturday. I'll stay at family friend's place Saturday night. A couple called Claire and Moz. And then Sunday meeting my mates at the airport and we are gonna start heading up. Uh, I think first night's going to be spent in the Hatter National Park uh, on the Murray, in, kind of near Mildura. So get, get a good couple of k's under our belt early on. How good? It's sad to leave Tassie. There's some things that I haven't done, so I'm definitely coming back. Um, I've just I've started a bit of a list of things that I need to get done. But yeah, it's been fantastic. Strongly recommend you come and check it out. If, you, if, uh, if you're thinking about it, definitely get down here. It is, or even if you're not thinking about it, start thinking about it, because it's seriously good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you back on the mainland. Yeah.